I lead by the way that I expect teachers to model what it is that I'm leading. Historically, the principal's office isn't seen as a place of uh, refuge or of safety. It's seen as a punitive place. My time here as the principal at Vic Peacher, I've sought to make sure that, that I break down those barriers so that students understand that ultimately it's my job to keep them safe. That is one aspect of, of the leadership uh, that has impressed me from, the, from day one is that he's a very hands-on principal with the students. He interacts with them. He's very aware clearly of the uh, suspension to, to prison pipeline. We try to avoid the punitive approach because restoring the child is always uh, an opportunity for the child to reflect on the behavior that they've done and then trying to restore their relationship because relationships are extremely important. Motivation is a key. If we can motivate kids, the behavior becomes less of a distraction. But they know that for everything that they do, for the most part, they are rewarded. Whether it's a ticket, a treat, or just someone telling them you're doing a great job. I know about, you know, their, the culture of the school, the climate of the school, their initiatives um, for the year, their PBIS structures, just kind of understanding the pulse of the school. So I still can embed those things that are specific. You know, I may be there to observe a class, but I'm observing students, how, how teachers interact with students, how students interact with others, how the principal interacts with teachers and students, and I can still connect that all back to um, the overall expectations that we have for each school within the Transformation Network. Although our academic report card does not reflect uh, great academic gains right now, our school culture is very positive and that students really enjoy being here. So I'm a parent of school-aged kids myself. And I want my kids to go to school that's safe. I want my kids to go to school where they're loved on. And I want my kids to go to a school where they're going to learn each day. We're doing that and we're committed to that in Jefferson Parish Public Schools. Now, are there areas where we need to do that better? Absolutely. And we're gonna add value in those areas. But we just ask that the parents trust us as professionals to do this work. Big Petrie is amazing. The teachers are more supportive to the students and the principal is always there to watch you to make sure you're doing the right thing. Everything that we do, everything that we implement is through the lens of how will this impact our children? How will this impact our students? It is important to feel loved because if you don't, you feel like you shouldn't learn any of this stuff. My favorite teacher is Miss Raymond because she is like a mother to me and she, she like loves me in her classroom. When kids come to school ready to learn, eager to learn, wanting the, those relationships, ready to, to smile, that's parent involvement. Although our parents aren't always able to get here but for one reason or another, they're involved, they're invested in what we're doing, and they're, they're waiting for us to truly transform and let that letter grade equal all of the other great things that we have going on at the school. Most students don't go around saying, I go to a D school, I go to an F school. They love their schools, you know, so if students can have that love for their schools, then we need to get back in, into that mindset of loving the school and doing everything that it needs to, that you need to do to make the school shine. I would say that the school is a great school for learning and a great school for teachers and students to get an education. Having key people in place to actually share that leadership is very important. So the master teacher's role is to support teachers in the classroom. When I was telling people, you know, oh, I'm going to be at Petrie, a lot of people said Petrie is a struggling school. You know that that school is struggling. And my thought process was, well, then that's where I need to be. In order to grow, change must occur. If the traditional way was working, then we wouldn't be in the Transformation Network. Teachers need to buy into the curriculum and trust the curriculum and trust that the district has chosen a curriculum that research says is most effective for student learning. But they do need that freedom to be able to make the lesson their own. I try to make it fun, so I have to be entertaining as well as informative so that they can enjoy the learning, not even know that they're really learning something new because they're having fun while they're doing it. One thing that I know I try to do as a master teacher is to actually listen, listen to their concerns, support them where they need. 
and that is, I found, has been helpful with the morale here at Petrie. Having the master teacher around to give us her input on things and is also very helpful because she's coming in from a different perspective. She's seeing our kids in a different light than we are. I'm getting used to it. I I'm find that I'm working a little bit harder, taking a lot more store stuff home with me and, and having to read and familiarize myself with the things so that I can present it to the kids in a better way. We have to expose these kids to rigor. And success is success. Our kids struggle. And I think in order to see success, you have to struggle. And the key to success here, I, I feel like it's exposure. I think it's important for teachers to, for their voices to be heard. Teachers are on the front line. They're the ones that's in the classroom, so we cannot just disregard their input. We're going through a productive struggle, and we're going through that struggle together. And so my role is to support the master teacher as she supports the teacher. So as far as morale is concerned, I'm not coming into the classroom because I want to, I got you. But it's really, I have you, I, I've got you, I've, we've got you supported on all areas, whether that's academically, uh, whether that's behaviorally, there are supports in place to make sure that every teacher has an opportunity to be successful. It's a struggle, but it's helping us to progress and leading us into a better direction. So we just have to keep pushing and keep learning and keep helping each other. And I think at the end of the year, matter of fact, I know at the end of the year, we're all gonna celebrate because we will see growth.